Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Lucky Buns, and today we are going to be going over the ultimate guide to max raid battles in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, as always, before we go ahead and get started, if you guys do enjoy this video and find it helpful, please make sure to hit that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you guys do want to see more Pokemon Sword and Shield tutorials like this, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. I know that 92% of you guys are watching my videos but are not subscribed to the channel, so why not hit that subscribe button and get notified exactly when they go live? Anyways, though, let's go ahead and get started with the video. Alright guys, so I've broken this down into basically four stages, and the first stage is going to be that you actually need to have some friends. Now I understand that many of you guys do not have friends on your Nintendo Switch and that's okay, I didn't really have that many friends either at first. And uh, we're gonna try and fix that today. Now what I want you guys to do is I want you to post your Switch code in the comments section down below. Now I understand that this is going to take some time, but hopefully this video does get traction and there are going to be hundreds of Switch codes in the comments section down below, and then I want you to sort them by newest and basically just add everybody you see. Ideally you want to have about 20 to 50 active people playing Sword and Shield on your friends list. And you're probably asking yourself, well why is this so important? Do I really need to have all these friends? And the answer to that is yes guys. You definitely do because if you try to do an online max raid battle it won't auto generate anybody it won't pull from people who are not on your friends list unfortunately that's just the way it was set up but that's okay because we're gonna just add everybody that we can and basically you know if you have some inactive friends on your list just go ahead and remove them and then just come back here re-add some new people rinse and repeat and you're good to go and uh, pretty much I would say you can post your code every once in a while you know if you feel like it's been like a couple of days or a week and you know you're not getting any new ads Go ahead and post your code once again, I will allow that. Normally I just kind of like to keep it one code uh, per video, but considering this is actually how the mechanic works in Pokemon Sword and Shield, feel free to post your code every once in a while, just please do not spam. I will definitely remove the comments if you are spamming your friend code in the comment section. Now that you guys actually have some friends on your friends list, let's go ahead and proceed over to the next step, which is going to require one wishing piece. So what you want to do is you want to head over to a vendor, buy a wishing piece, and then you want to head over to the den of your choice. Now I'm not going to go over every single dent in this video as there are 99 dens in total. Uh, basically, you can actually find the full list on Cerebi.net. I will leave a link in the description below and you guys can go ahead and check that out. Once you guys have figured out which den that you want to go ahead and farm, head over to that den, stand right in front of it, then go to options and change your text speed to slow. And you're probably asking yourself, well, why do I need to do this? Don't worry, I'm going to explain that here just in a quick sec. Then I want you to go ahead and save your game. Now, basically what you're going to have to do is you want to go ahead and click click on that den and uh, basically we're going to drop a wishing piece in it. Now right as you are saving the game it is going to either appear red or purple. Red lights are going to be common spawns and purple lights are going to be rare spawns. Basically like a common spawn table and a rare spawn table and you can only get the Gigantamax forms from the rare spawn table. And now basically the reason why I wanted you guys to turn the text speed on to slow is so that you can actually have enough time to back out of the game and reset it in case it actually turns into a red light. You can basically do this as many times as you want until you get that purple light. I believe it's like a 35% chance to get the uh, purple light to get the rare spawn table so that's what we're going to be going for right now and so basically you just want to rinse and repeat this method until you get to that purple light so you know you're gonna exit out of the game you're gonna go back in you're gonna throw a wishing piece in you're gonna save the game if it appears to be a red light as you are in the saving process go ahead and back out and restart the game once again until you get that purple light once you get that purple light go ahead and actually save your game now and so once you guys have actually attained that purple light you have now made it to the next stage of the process which is going to be getting your desired rare spawn or gigantamax form from the rare Raid. Essentially what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be rare shuffling and this is also a great way to actually get unlimited watts. You can pretty much farm this all day if you wanted to if you aren't even going for a Gigantamax form or if you're not going for a specific rare spawn. And I forgot to mention this guys but you can actually go back to your options and change your tech speed back to fast because we're not going to have to soft reset the game anymore at this point. Now in order for the next step to work you guys have to go to your YCOM and make sure that the internet connection is turned off. You want to only have it on local connection because this process is going to require you to invest people but you don't actually want anybody to join so basically what you guys want to do is you want to click on that den check which rare spawn it is if it's not the one that you want go ahead and click on invite others and then I want you to back out of the screen go to the home screen and then go to your system settings 
change the date and time. If it's set to automatic, turn that off, and then set your date and time, and then forward it by one day. Basically, the way that this works is that uh, the game thinks that you've been trying to find people for like a whole entire day, so it's going to reset the spawn because it feels like it's been way too long at that point. And this is also going to reset the den, so basically you can collect on your watt. So if you're in the post game, you can get 2,000 watts every single time you actually change the day. And you're basically just going to rinse and repeat this method until you get to the rare spawn that you want or to the gigantamax form that you want. Now something else I do want to point out guys is that this method actually can take a decent amount of time. While you can get it as fast as like 2 to 5 minutes, it can be as long as like 20 to 50 minutes depending on how lucky you actually are. When I was going for my second gigantamax form, it took me around 40 to 50 minutes to actually get that rare spawn to actually appear in the raid. I just kept getting everything on that rare spawn table except for the gigantamax form. So honestly guys, at the end of the day, just keep going with it. Trust me, sometimes it's not going to take that long, but sometimes it will take a really, really long time. Anyways though, once you guys actually get to the rare spawn that you want, or the Gigantamax form that you want, now you guys are actually ready to fight the raid boss. So you already have the friends to do this, you want to go ahead and save your game once again, so like basically once you get to that rare spawn that you actually want, save your game. And then after that you can go ahead and go back to your YCOM and turn the internet back on. Now you basically just want to go through and invite other people into your raid. This is why it was so important to add your friends at the start of the video because if you don't have friends, then this isn't going to work. You cannot do this with NPCs, guys. Trust me, the NPCs will get KO'd so fast, they won't use the right counters, it is just an awful experience, and you're going to fail basically every single time unless you get incredibly lucky. Anyways though, go ahead and actually beat the boss now, and then once you've actually beaten the boss, here's the tricky part about this. You're not actually guaranteed to catch the Pokemon. I've actually seen a lot of people have their gigantic Gigantamax Pokemon run away on them, and that's actually pretty common. Now what you can do in order to solve this, in order to get a 100% catch rate, is if that Pokemon does break out, hit the home screen, you've already saved right before the raid battle started, now go back in and just do it all over again. Basically keep on doing it until you are actually able to catch that Pokemon. You can also just trade it from your friends as well in case they actually join it up for a second time. Basically they can farm this unlimited amount of times and they can get unlimited Gigantamax forms, but of course, you know, there's kind of a thrill to actually hunting it down yourself, at least there is to me, so if you're like me and you want to do that as well. That's basically the method that you want to use. If you don't catch it, back out on the home screen, restart the app, and uh, basically just go back into it. And that's basically all there is to it, guys. There's been a lot of information that has come to light over the past couple of days, and I actually was planning on doing a couple of these videos as their own separate thing, but I was just like, you know what, it just makes more sense to put this all together in one video because it's really more of a process altogether. So I hope you guys did find this video helpful and informative. If you did, definitely make sure to hit that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. It. And if you guys do want to see more Pokemon Sword and Shield tutorials like this, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And I will see you all real soon in the next one.